everybody. This is Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year, or as I prefer to call it, Happy Blue Year. Because <laughs> uh, the elections are coming up and uh, we want a blue year, a blue sweep. I did a, a reading today using my uh, Sarah Marchetti Gilded Tarot cards, but it's a bit different from what I usually do. Today I'm going to do a guided prediction for the year, for 2020. And so I'll be using a Celtic cross, but then my guides gave me a tarot for each month. So energies can change. I'm not saying this is exactly what's going to happen or anything, or it could be you know way off. But uh, this uh, this is the reading they gave me. It was very interesting. <laughs> so I, I, the Celtic cross begins with the world. So this is to do with what's just happened with. Uh, Trump's uh, assassination of uh, General Soleimani, and that has sh shaken the world. Uh, right now, the whole world's involved in this because this uh, is, uh, oh, it's it's such a, um, uh, is the right word, egress? It's, it, 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 uh, there, on so many levels, this has uh, changed the world stage, potentially. It's broken so many international laws. Uh, uh, it struck a, 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 a member of the Iraqi government for no ostensible uh, reason except that uh, to the United States and uh, uh, maybe, uh, of course, others, you know, guess Soleimani has uh, proved to be a, um, a, a very uh, dangerous enemy. But, you know, we have, we have generals too who are dangerous enemies to them. What would we say if they, you know, took out uh, Pompeo? Uh, because that's pretty equal to what uh, we did. Uh, well, if you don't like Pompeo, you might not mind, but it, it, it's attacking another country's sovereignty. And uh, uh, Iran is, um, a, you know, a powerful country. And since we conveniently pulled out of the nuclear deal, uh, then uh, they're going to go ahead and, you know, uh, at least potentially you know, develop their nuclear capabilities, something that the whole world, including President Obama was trying to stop. This is uh, the most uh, crazy, uh, irresponsible, uh, war hawkish uh, 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 act. And the consequences, uh, the fallout, nobody can really predict. Uh, I know that the warmongers and the people who make their, their money from weapons they're so happy uh, i might uh include it in my opening the picture of pompeo and the the other uh right-wing gop just they were so uh, euphoric that this happened like yes uh so above the, the world is the tower so yes obviously this is the assassination this is the strike in a pretty literal sense but this is also trump so what my guides tell, tell me about this is that this is going to backfire on Trump. What Trump has tried to do to Iran is going to come back on him 100%. It's going to bring him down also. All these other things are bringing him down. And we all know that he did this uh, to deflect, uh, uh, focus off the impeachment and also to... Uh, uh, get a groundswell of support. Uh, and I read a quote actually from Hannity, I think, as I was researching some of the reaction of these people. Because, uh, you know, it wasn't just his hawkish um, advisors like Pompeo and O'Brien and uh, um, maybe in the background Bolton. Uh, uh, there's there's one other. I actually did write it down here. Oh, um, it's a, a Brian Hook is uh, uh, one of the other advisors that, that have been wanting this to happen forever. Um, you know, it's the, his Fox News allies like, like uh, Hannity and, uh, you know, all the others that are, um, uh, th that have been wanting this war. They live in this fantasy. You know, these men who have never been to war, uh, they have all these uh, uh, wet dreams, so to speak, sorry for to be vulgar, about uh, about this, somehow living in this um, uh, 
Xbox world of, of war games that uh, play out the way war games that you would be playing, you know, <laughs> with your friends' uh, uh, animated games play out, but this is reality, and uh, it, uh, it does not play out like that. These are very, very dangerous people, and somehow they've all clustered around him, gotten into uh, Trump's ear, pushed out more moderate voices, and uh, uh, this is what it's led to. And and Trump doesn't give a, 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 a darn about uh, um, any of you know <laughs> Iranian uh, the people's freedoms or whatever. He's just calculating how can I stay in power? How can I uh, not lose all my money and my influence and you know, his ego and his t he's terrified about the consequences of what will happen when he's no longer protected by the presidency. That's why he did it, and they got him in a vulnerable. I want to say a vulnerable moment where he is just, you know, like a, a, a trapped rat. How can I get out of this? How can I get out of this with this impeachment coming on? And then, you know, they're in his ear and then he just gets all uh, excited because all oh, this is this is the way this is going to change the American public because you can't take out a president when there's a war going on, all of that stuff. And you saw him tweeting all that uh, uh, pretty quickly. In the past, this is the Knight of Swords and this is just this impulsive act let's go ahead and do this thing and we'll we'll uh we'll say it was necessary because you know Soleimani is such a threat um but uh uh well I, I um I don't say but I want to say that's what ha happened they're, they're now they're like let's do it and they go ahead and do it despite the consequences because the knight of swords is impulsive does not think before um uh, they act. They're just going to go ahead, ahead with it, despite the disaster that that may lay ahead. And the intent is to, uh, you know, uh, succeed at all costs to just uh, go ahead, no matter how many lives are are, um, are threatened or taken, no matter what the the consequences are. They don't care. This is just full aggression without any uh, anything holding it back. But it, most often than not, the Knight of Swords represents foolhardy action. Underneath is the devil. This is the motivation. This is to do with what I've just talked about. But th this is an interesting card because, and I know people are going to come for me, and I'm not even sure about this myself. This is regarding Putin. Who, who was uh, the motivator? Uh, and... I'm not necessarily sure. My guides keep on telling me Putin is not that happy about what just happened. It's not that he doesn't want um, destabilization or to get Iran out of Syria, which he does, but he had uses for Soleimani. They, I think they were actual, actual friends. Uh, and I, I think he tried to talk um, Trump out of this particular action. And yeah, I know you're going to come at me with this, I, and I doubt it myself. But I might, I keep on asking my guides about this, and they keep on telling me that um, you know Putin does own Trump, lock, stock, and barrel, and uh, uh, he 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 does what Putin wants him to do. But in this particular um, uh, in this particular uh, um, action that that uh, Trump and his uh, hawks took. Uh, I think Putin is is upset about it, 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 it and and you and you can see if you because I researched then after my guides told me that I, I found articles a lot of articles actually that 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 uh, where Putin ostensibly anyway because you never know behind the scenes but is uh, condemning uh, this attack and saying that it, he, he it, it, it is disastrous and and he has interest in oil and he has interest in these uh, outposts and the you know the, the the industries in this region so he's he's not going to support this war not at least not publicly for whatever he might get out of it behind the scenes this is not going to be something where putin allies himself with trump or russia allies itself with america on this so this action has isolated even Trump from uh, Russia, at least publicly. And very few people are supporting, or not people, very few uh, countries are supporting uh, Trump 
in what happened. I think only Israel. Everybody else is stepping back and saying, whoa, no. What, did, what the heck did you do? We do not condone this action. We will not con uh, support you. That puts the U.S. in a very vulnerable position. Well, you could say that is not, you know, necessarily something uh, that uh, Trump, uh, sorry, Putin would be unhappy about because Putin wants to see the U.S. weakened and this will definitely weaken us. So that could be a secondary agenda, but at least to the public, uh, you know, Putin is, is, is not going to to be uh, uh, allied with it. Uh, so that's interesting. <laughs> maybe maybe Trump fell into a trap or something, uh, but I, where Putin said, oh, go ahead, knowing that, you know, the results. But my guides did tell me, and I'll ask again in the future, you know, when this, this happened, I, I don't know how clear I could be asking about this event because it was horrible, uh, terrifying to, to hear that it had happened because of the potential. Um, but right now, I'm, what I'm hearing is that uh, it, it is really Pompeo, um, uh, Brian Hook, Robert O'Brien. These are, are Trump's uh, military or, or well, they're his like national security advisor and um, in, in, the, in, the, in those, you know, secretary of state in those roles. Those are the ones who really spurred him on to do this. And yeah, they're definitely found in this devil card. <laughs> Trust me on that one. They're all this energy. In the future, this is a wheel of fortune. So that this is unexpected consequence. Everything change, being a game changer. So what they're telling me is that uh, this changes the world. This changes the future of the world in unexpected ways. It causes unexpected alliances like Iran and Iraq allying themselves um you know the world allying themselves yeah oh this is interesting uh, apparently putin had a conversation with macron um regarding this uh, uh, the situation and uh you, you know how they they both felt that that, that it was uh, uh potentially you know the the, the consequences dis totally disastrous so you get this kind of moving of alliances of um of concern and then potentially also that Putin withdraws his support from Trump because of this. May or may not happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to definitely follow up in the future to see if I'm misguided on that. And Putin really was uh, behind the scenes on all of it. Uh, but it, but I do get this, this weakening of power for Trump and Putin withdrawing his support for Trump because of this happening and other things changing in the world too. And, and maybe the whole world rethinking uh, uh, the situation of, of uh, you know, the, the future of the world, how precarious it is uh, with these kinds of, uh, of, of, of wars going on and, and uh, this underlying uh, division and uh, this underlying uh, you know the, the uh, you know we're all fighting against each other and there's uh, you know the uh, these factions and ha maybe how to to alter it that will be the day right <laughs> but maybe maybe there'll be some unexpected consequences people who might not might normally not think about uh the world situation as it is how volatile it is and how to maybe start changing it and making alliances with people they may not have made alliances with in the past to you know bring peace as opposed to um the war and devastation that's what my guides say anyway so now we're going to go through each month of 2020. it could always change i could always be wrong but this is what my guides uh, told me so we start off with January, and that is uh, the Wheel of Fortune, right where we are right now. Everything changing, and, 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 and the Wheel of Fortune represents the turning of the wheel, the coming into a new year from 2019 to 2020, a new decade. So a lot of change coming, already coming for us in January. Coming into February, eight of wands so that's just massive change lots and lots of things happening 
uh, so my guides say this is uh, just uh, again this overwhelm of information that you know we've been getting. It's even more releasing, uh, uh, you know, really damning. Uh, more, how could there be any? More? There's more and more damning new things on, on on Trump coming out, and this is also Trump and his spin, his tweets. Uh, this just overwhelm of all this, uh, like uh, throwing things up in the air, seeing what sticks. Uh, as the sheep were just kind of <laughs> down here just trying to survive but all the stuff is but it also brings in a lot of change what I was what I didn't set, finish that sentence all the stuff is overwhelming for us we're just trying to stay sane down here all this information's coming out it's a lot of information but it is bringing change it is bringing new things coming in and this is also uh, to do with impeachment and, uh, charges and new testimony and, and new people, um, uh, yeah, even volunteering uh, to 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 to, t to testify. Uh, this is about uh, also the Senate and and the House and uh, you know going on between them. Things happen. It's speeding up. I, I would say I'm going to ask my guys right now because I don't think I specifically asked that. Coming up to a trial, yes. All of a sudden, there's going to be a trial, and my guide say there's going to be witnesses, and it's, we're all we're going to be in it, and that's going to you know speed up through February. Uh, so then, I have not lost my place here. Oh, then this inter is interesting. March, the death card comes comes up in March. My guides say this is the end of the Trump presidency in March. Uh, uh, this is, I don't know, they're, they're kind of like saying end of February, kind of into March. I don't know if this is actual death of Trump himself physically or the end, just the end of his pres presidency, but this is an end here, a death. And it does relate to Trump, and it does relate to the administration, and it's the end in some way. April comes in with the Knight of Pentacles. So I, I asked my guides to give me a clarifying card on that one, and they gave me the Queen of Pentacles. My guides say this is uh, our new... <laughs> A new energy coming in, a new a, a new leader, uh, like to take over the uh, from the president leaves. This is not Mike Pence, by the way. Just if everybody out there was wondering, this is I think this is Nancy Pelosi. I think that's what this clarifying card is. This woman stepping in to take over to take over the government uh, presidential uh, position. To become a new leader, and it, it it's expressed in such a way because it's it's uh, you know her she's third in line right or no second in line after there's Trump Pence and her, and uh, so this is uh, how that my guides wanted to present that to me. She 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 rides in here uh, and uh, takes takes her place as our interim president. I hope that's true. <laughs> When they, when they told me that, I thought, is this just me making it up or is this really going to happen? But then like, I asked my guys, they said, that's what's going to happen. I, I can ask them again. They say, oh, yes. Um, so then May is the Ace of Wands, and that really is new energy. I, I don't uh, know if new energy really, in, in, the, in this, I didn't, I was trying to say something else, I think, with the Knight of Pentacles. But this will bring in the new energy. Um, maybe a new leader uh, and now now this is really new energy coming in for the month of uh, May this comes in and this changes everything because this is really going uh, to be energy that's going to undo uh, what Trump has wrought and Pelosi's going to get to it. No, no messing around there. It's just going to, going to be like that. Um, the, so then uh, June comes after May, and 
with June comes the Two of Pentacles. So this is the uh, candidates, the Democrat and the Republican, uh, and behind this man is the ship, and so my guides say this is the still the threat of, of foreign involvement supporting uh, the GOP candidate. So I asked, like, well, who's the GOP candidate? <laughs> and I didn't get a clear answer. Like I, I got like some senator, some somebody like of the Freedom Caucus or that ilk, but somebody who kind of looks on the surface like a moderate, but he's not. He's ultra right wing, and he's um, supported by Russia and other foreign powers. And then you know, here comes the Democrat. Well, who who is going to be the Democrat candidate? I, I'm always nervous to say this because I, I don't. Every we all have free choice in this. Got to make up our minds. Um, and this is just what I'm getting now, and it could change. Um, but um, oh, wait a minute. I'm not. I'm not going to reveal that just yet because then in July comes justice. So this card, my guides say, this represents Nancy Pelosi and uh, the House. Um, pushing through in impeachments of uh, you know, William Barr and Kavanaugh. Um, also, also everybody else who's broken the law. Uh, the, the, this is, uh, you know, bringing justice upon, you know, this criminal organization that's been our government. So that something related or regarding to that is really uh, prominent in, in, in the month of July. And then in August, all of a sudden here we have the Four of Swords. So this is, this is like a, um, uh, you know, a regrouping. This is, uh, uh, you know, we've had all this stuff happening, all this uh, boom, 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 and this overwhelm. And then August, it's like time off, <laughs> time off to regroup, to, to take a breather. And then to reorganize, to uh, really think through, and 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 I think this is applying to Nancy Pelosi in the House. What are we going to do? Like, what's the next step? Uh, how are we going to deal with you know uh, Russian interference? How are we going to uh, deal with the migrants? What are we doing? We need some time to just think about this, to really you know make the best plans to go forward that make the most sense. Uh, and uh, then I did ask for uh, a clarifying card, Page of Swords, and and this is you know this uh, people you know planning, uh, thinking what's the best uh, activity or not activity, but what's the best action here. This card, for some reason, always reminds me of AOC. <laughs> but everybody gets their say. But you got to take time out. You got to plan. You got to regroup. There's a lot to get done here, and so there's there's got to be this time to organize. And then September, the sun. My guides say this card represents uh, uh, transparency in the elections. So. Um, there's less possibility of uh, foreign involvement. Uh, there's uh, a push to restore voter rights. I know this, you know, the election's coming up in November, so there's not much time. But this is what they decide to do when they, the, the most important priority for them is is to uh, heal our election system as well as they can, bringing transparency, shining the light on it. Then October, this is our the, the Democratic uh, presidential candidate, Queen of Wands. I asked for a clarification card here. I got the Eight of Pentacles. So this is the people working really hard to get this person elected. These are the volunteers and the campaign organizers and people knocking on doors, people making sure you know people are, are registered. All of the stuff, uh, contributions to get this person elected. So when I see the Queen of Wands, I think Elizabeth Warren. 
she I'm not saying she's going to be our candidate but that's what I think this card means if that makes any sense if I'm going to interpret it based on what my guides told me and this is us working really hard to get her elected and then come uh, November six of wands this is a victory for the Democrats we are elated we have a democratic president whoever that might be man or woman I'm right now this is the card I have queen of wands so we have our new president who's a democrat and also I think we we get a democratic senate too and our you know the house remains uh, uh, under democratic rule so this is a pretty amazing moment for us in history and then December we have the star and that is the healing card that means things coming into balance this is and this card is also going to be over January too and and represent the, the 2021 which is healing not just a, a, a healing ours a, a, ourselves individually really us as a country healing and and the world starting on this healing too and and if you look at this card you come back to um if i can find it in all my other cards um it, it, it yeah the wheel of fortune so here we have the current state of the world here we have the star within it So it's quite a transformational year that brings us to this point of uh, of healing and restoration and renewal. What a journey! <laughs> that is my reading for uh, 2020, and it can change. Energies can change, events can change, but that is what I got from my guide. So that was a little bit of a hard work. <laughs> this reading. Um, but interesting and uh, enlightening uh, uh, i hope it actually all comes true because uh, that would be a beautiful path for us to take so i did ask for a card for us and lo and behold that card uh, is um hilarion health and healing so i think that card is very uh, uh appropriate for the new year because i myself and millions of people out there uh usually you know january we want to be on a healing path healing from the excesses and imbalances of uh the usually the holiday the holiday time behind us and uh this is uh the path we want to go on now so that 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 would really represent this card so this is the card for us now health and healing so i'm gonna find the uh card in oh this is from the ascended masters deck by doreen virtue i think i used one last week give me give me a second here i just need to find it uh right okay health and healing excuse me for the delay <laughs> this card is a sign of healing your divine healing power has awakened and you feel compelled to help others to heal just as you have been healed so too do you want others to enjoy health and vitality you're supported in making life changes so you can continue to heal yourself and others let go of any fears or restrictive feelings and thinking to fully open the miracles of healing. Additional meanings of this card, an illness or injury is healed or healing. You are a healer. <laughs> it's a good and safe time for you to change to a healing career. Study healing modalities. Hilarion, also known as Saint Hilarion or Master Hilarion, was a fourth century Middle Easterner who became renowned for his successful healing work. Hilarion was beloved by both Christians and those who practiced the old religions. Much of his life and healing work was immortalized by St. Uh, Jerome's writings, which described Hilarion uh, healing by commanding earthbound spirit attachments to leave. 
Call upon Hilarion for any issue involving healing or clearing of energy. <sighs> I always remind people at the end that I am a, a, a reader. I, I read past lives. Uh, anything in the present, including what's happened in the past, coming up in, in the future, uh, concerns with the present. Uh, I am a medium and uh, I can help contact uh, uh, those who've made their transitions and we can find out if they have made their transitions and if they have not, we can see if we can help them move on with our, our spirit guides. I also love to introduce people to their guardian angels. And I'll leave my contact information at the end of this video, also it's below. Saying that, I want to wish everybody a happy new year and i know this has been <laughs> a crazy way to start it uh it, it made me think about narcissists and and how they love to destroy holidays for us they always do they find a way just when we have our guard down and we're happy and relaxed and uh, we've had a, 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 a joyous time um uh bump <laughs> they'll come in and they'll just like they'll just uh destroy it basically <laughs> it's what they do that's their MO. And that's just so typical with Trump. Still find time for yourself. Uh, oh, I, I forgot to say this. Uh, the card I did get for the future for that war, because I did choose a card, or that not that war, the attack, was Six of Swords. So what I saw was that Russia does not want us to get involved in a war with Iran, whatever happened with the killing of Soleimani. So we're going to start retreating it. And in a few months from now we're gonna like that will have been in the past you know like all this other crazy stuff we'll be on to something else it's just going to pass over it's not that it's not going to have consequences because it will iran definitely will uh, do some things uh that, that will cost lives and uh they'll be pretty spectacularly uh you know uh, uh devastating but in terms of war, my guides say no. We're moving away from that because the um, people who Trump relies on, you know, to pay his salary are not into it uh, in, in that way. They don't want an outright war. It's not within their interests to have that. So we're going to be backing away from that. But, you know, Pandora's box has been opened and some pretty uh, awful consequences uh, come from that, unfortunately. Okay, you guys, take care. I'll be back soon. Uh, sending my love to you. Bye-bye.